the moon, our celestial neighbor. For millennia, humans have gazed up at its silvery glow, spun tales of its origins, and dreamed of reaching its surface. But it wasn't until the space age that we truly began to unravel the moon's secrets. And leading the charge is the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO. Launched in 2009, LRO is NASA's robotic scout, orbiting the moon and sending back a treasure trove of data. Its mission? To map the lunar surface in unprecedented detail, to reveal the moon's hidden features, to help us understand its history and prepare for future human exploration. LRO is equipped with a suite of advanced instruments, including cameras that capture images in stunning high resolution. We're talking about seeing objects as small as a coffee table. This level of detail is revolutionizing our understanding of the moon. It's like having a brand new telescope. But instead of peering from Earth, we're right there in lunar orbit, getting a front row seat to the wonders of our closest celestial companion. And what wonders LRO has revealed? From the towering peaks of ancient craters to the vast plains of solidified lava, the moon is a world of stark beauty and intriguing mystery. Let's take a closer look at some of the most captivating images LRO has sent back. Images that will forever change the way you view our moon. One of the most striking features on the moon is Tycho Crater, a massive impact crater located in the southern lunar highlands. Visible from Earth even with the naked eye, Tycho is a testament to the moon's violent past, a history shaped by countless collisions with asteroids and comets. LRO has given us an up-close view of Tycho that is simply breathtaking. The crater stretches over 50 miles wide with towering walls rising thousands of feet above the surrounding plains. At its center lies a majestic central peak formed by the rebound of rock after the initial impact. But it's the details that truly capture the imagination. LRO's images reveal the intricate terraces that line Tycho's walls, evidence of the collapsing rock layers in the aftermath of the impact. We can see the scattered boulders, some larger than houses, ejected from the crater floor with incredible force. And radiating outward from Tycho are the crater's famous rays, streaks of material blasted out during the impact, stretching for hundreds of miles across the lunar surface. Tycho Crater is a time capsule, a record of a cataclysmic event that occurred millions of years ago. By studying its features, scientists can learn about the composition of the lunar crust, the physics of impact cratering, and the processes that have shaped the moon's surface over billions of years. On July 20th, 1969, humanity achieved the seemingly impossible. We landed on the moon. The Apollo 11 mission, a triumph of human ingenuity and courage, marked a turning point in our history, inspiring generations to dream of reaching for the stars. LRO has given us a poignant reminder of that historic achievement. Its cameras have captured images of the Apollo landing sites, places forever etched in the annals of human exploration. We can see the descent stages of the lunar modules, still standing where they landed decades ago. We can make out the tracks left by the lunar rovers, driven across the lunar surface by the Apollo astronauts. These images are not just pixels on a screen, they are tangible evidence of our species' incredible journey. They remind us of what we are capable of achieving when we set our minds to a common goal, and they serve as a powerful inspiration for the future of human spaceflight. But LRO's images of the Apollo landing sites are more than just historical curiosities. They also provide valuable scientific data. By studying how the lunar surface has changed around the landing sites over time, scientists can gain insights into the processes that shape the moon's environment, such as micrometeorite impacts and solar radiation exposure. Section 4, Lunar Swirls, the moon's artistic side. The moon's surface is a study in contrasts. There are the rugged highlands, heavily cratered and ancient. There are the smooth dark maria, vast plains of solidified lava. And then there are the lunar swirls, enigmatic features that seem to defy explanation. Lunar swirls are bright, sinuous markings that stand out against the darker lunar surface. They are found in various locations across the moon, often associated with magnetic anomalies. Their origin has long puzzled scientists. LRO's high-resolution images have provided valuable clues about these mysterious features. The images reveal that the swirls are not composed of different materials, but rather represent variations in the way the lunar surface reflects light. The leading theory is that the swirls are formed by the interaction of the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun, with the moon's weak magnetic field. 
These magnetic anomalies create a sort of magnetic shield that deflects the solar wind, protecting the underlying surface from darkening over time. The result is a pattern of light and dark areas that we see as lunar swirls. Lunar swirls are a testament to the complex interplay of forces at play on the moon's surface. They remind us that even on a seemingly barren world, there are still mysteries to be solved and discoveries to be made. Section 5. The Far Side. Mysteries and Discoveries. For centuries, the far side of the moon remained hidden from human eyes. Tidally locked to Earth, the moon always shows us the same face. It wasn't until the Soviet Luna 3 spacecraft sent back the first grainy images in 1959 that we finally got a glimpse of the moon's hidden hemisphere. LRO has allowed us to explore the far side of the moon in unprecedented detail. The images reveal a landscape that is both familiar and alien. Like the near side, the far side is heavily cratered, a testament to its long history of bombardment. However, unlike the near side, the far side is almost completely devoid of Maria, the dark, smooth plains of solidified lava that dominate the lunar near side. The reasons for this difference are still debated, but one theory suggests that the far side's crust is thicker, making it more difficult for lava to erupt to the surface. The far side of the moon holds many mysteries yet to be unraveled. Its unique environment, shielded from Earth's radio interference, makes it an ideal location for future radio telescopes, allowing us to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. And who knows what other secrets await discovery on this unexplored frontier? LRO's images have given us a tantalizing glimpse, but there is still so much more to learn. Section 6, Shackleton Crater, a reservoir of ice and hope. At the moon's south pole, perpetually shrouded in shadow, lies Shackleton Crater, a place of eternal darkness and intriguing scientific potential. Named after the famed Antarctic explorer Ernest Shackleton, this crater is of particular interest because of what lies hidden within its depths water ice. The presence of water ice on the moon has profound implications for future human exploration. Water ice could be used to provide drinking water, oxygen, and even rocket fuel for future lunar missions. It could enable us to establish a permanent presence on the moon, a lunar outpost from which we can further explore the solar system. LRO's instruments have played a crucial role in confirming the presence of water ice in Shackleton Crater. By bouncing laser pulses off the crater's floor and measuring the reflected light, scientists have been able to determine the composition of the surface. The data suggests that Shackleton Crater contains significant amounts of water ice mixed in with the lunar soil. This discovery has fueled excitement about the potential for utilizing lunar resources to support future human exploration. It has also raised intriguing questions about the origin of the water ice and its implications for the history of water in the solar system. Section 7. Water on the Moon, a Game Changer The discovery of water ice on the moon wasn't confined to Shackleton Crater. LRO's instruments have detected evidence of water ice in other permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles. And even more surprisingly, LRO has found evidence of water molecules on the sunlit surface of the moon. This was unexpected. Scientists had long assumed that the harsh conditions of the lunar surface, exposed to the vacuum of space and bombarded by solar radiation, would prevent water from existing in a stable form. But LRO's observations suggest otherwise. The water molecules on the sunlit surface are thought to be trapped within the lunar soil, perhaps bound to minerals or hidden in tiny glass beads formed by micrometeorite impacts. While the amount of water is small, it could still be a valuable resource for future lunar explorers. The discovery of water on the moon has fundamentally changed our understanding of our celestial neighbor. It has opened up new possibilities for lunar exploration and has raised intriguing questions about the origin and evolution of water in the solar system.